Today's video is sponsored by iRestore and they're kindly sponsoring the video so that I can answer your questions on my hair journey. Huge part, a huge part of my hair journey and maybe yours as well is thinness or loss of hair. Hard to believe but last year I had such thin hair. My scalp was showing, I had bald patches and I really feel your pain if this is your issue. Those of you who have not suffered this do not realise that that saying, your hair is your crown in glory, is so true. That was one of my first thoughts when I noticed how thin my hair had got and how I struggled with it and trying to style it and trying to do something with it to make it show was, you know, my hair show rather than my scalp, was how... My hair's my crown in glory. Everything looked wrong. My face looked wrong. My makeup looked wrong. My clothes looked wrong. You find yourself overcompensating with makeup and, and just looking ridiculous, you know, looking like a clown. Our hair not only gives us volume and so on around here and uh, frames our face, but it also gives us height here. And the height here is actually making our faces more attractive. If you think we all like to have our, you know, we like to have our sunglasses on the head. Well, why? It's not just because it's pushing our hair back, but it's also adding some height. And it seems to be about the right sort of height to make our faces more attractive. Don't know why, I don't know the science, but, it, but you've got to agree with me. We like our sunglasses on our head. It does make us look better for some reason. And when you are losing your hair and you've got hair loss and your hair's thin, you lose height on the top of your head as well. So one of the things that I found actually quite useful was to use scarves. So I was putting scarves up around my, um, around my hair and, you know, as, as, as a headband, really, type of scarf. That's how I did it. And also I used headbands as well. Sometimes I wrapped a scarf around a headband and put that on too. But that just added the height that I was lost through losing my hair. I couldn't use styling products. I couldn't use heated products. I couldn't use curlers or straighteners or a hairdryer. iRestore have kindly sent me one of their devices for hair regrowth, the, the Pro. They've also sent some products as well that I will uh, go through with you. Now, I will say that my hair regrowth is not as result of using this because I haven't used it for my hair regrowth. My hair regrowth is a result of medical in intervention stopping. However, that obviously is not going to be the case for many of you. And so I thought it's very well worth showing you the iRestore Pro because I did some research and I have found that others who have shown this have had results. And also, I've looked at the comments on social media of people who have been using this that I believe to be genuine comments where people are saying that they have had brilliant results from this device as well. So, there is a discount for you. If you're using a code over 50 Fashion Life, you're going to get a substantial discount off of this device at the time of recording and the time of publishing of this video. But let me tell you about the pro and why maybe this is going to be helpful so let's talk about hair hair goes through three phases it goes through the growing phase the resting phase and then the falling out phase and i can tell you that when mine was going through the falling out phase it was it was going down a plug hole phase as well you know and pulling it out and blocking the drains and all of that type of phase that's what my hair did this device has got 282 leds and lasers so the technical stuff is that uh, we would do, they would use lasers and LEDs because lasers can go in deep into the follicle, whereas LED is broad spectrum and, and covers breadth of, of hair follicles. The way LEDs and lasers work is that they are stimulating the follicle they're providing nutrients, light nutrients to the follicle. So to enable the hair follicle and the hair to stay in the growing phase for longer. Now, many devices on the market do not have lasers and LEDs. I restore toes to do both because then you're getting, again, you're getting the depth and you're getting the breadth. The Pro also has coverage. Obviously, inside you've got the LEDs and the lasers. It has coverage at the back and the sides and the front as well. Now, to use it, you simply put it on your head, and I will do so, and I will turn it on when I talk to you about the rest of it. So let me just turn on the very simple controller here, 
which has um, instructions just as a normal TV remote on off button that you would recognize and a, a pause stop button. So let me just turn it on. Now what you're going to see is some flashing around here as it is on and so starting at 25 there we now have flashing around here that's doing its its bit the countdown starts 25 minutes a time and you use it every other day if you need to pause you just press the pause button which is the bottom button the lights stop the timer stops and it will pause for up to five minutes you can start it by pressing that once again the pause stop button click and the countdown starts again so as you can see that it resumes see it's going across here that's that flushing and the flushing around the rim of the flushing underneath the the uh, device is going once more so while this going let me just tell you a bit more it is clinically proven and it is non invasive it can be used in conjunction with other treatments so if you're having or someone you know is having a hair transplant or um, a topical intervention it can be used in conjunction with that as as well and do remember this isn't just for women think about men in your life as well and maybe even both of you it might be that you could share it there is here a portable rechargeable battery pack so at the moment, my device is entirely remote. I'm going to stand up and show you. Ignore my trousers, they don't go with my top. My top, coincidentally, is I restore colours, but that's not on purpose, and I will list this top down below. But I am going to clip this into my belt loop of my trousers, and there we go. I'm now remote in my kitchen. You can hear me. You can see me. And I am still being treated with the infrared and LED. As I'm walking around doing things, I fill up my kettle with some filtered water and then I can say make a cup of tea because I'm British, we like our tea. You know, I'm perfectly functional and mobile. Generally, you're going to get results in three to six months, perhaps 18 months, perhaps a year. We're all different. I was watching a video by one influencer who said, you know, after 18 months, she's had got substantial hairy growth, her ponytail much thicker. And I can sympathize with this because when I had my hair loss, when I was washing my hair and squeezing it out, it was like that, like that. Now it's quite chunky. It's like that. And that's what you want to get back to. If you can you get back to the chunky feel where you're washing your hair and and you're squeezing the water out and you can feel you've actually got hair. But, but I Restore do not only do the LED and laser device, the, the Pro. They also can provide shampoos and conditioners uh, for all hair types. I have tried the shampoo and conditioner. I, act, I love it. I love it. Um, this is something, obviously, with my hair as it is, I can, I can use. I don't need to um, avoid using, using these whatsoever. The, um, I found the shampoo easy to use. It's a flip top, which I like, not a pump. Um, Non-slip bottle. They're nice to hold in the shower. And I only put one squeeze on my hair. I only do one wash. Now, with a, with a shampoo, you leave it on for two minutes. With the conditioner, you also leave it on for two minutes. I notice with the conditioner, there's a slight fruity scent, which is very, very pleasant. It's that, you know, that normal, typical shampoo-y conditioner, fruity scent. The, actually, the shampoo has it as well. Um, anyway, yeah, very pleasant. That normal, you know what I mean, that normal fruity shampoo smell. Um, so very pleasant to use, very sensible bottle. And uh, I have no complaints whatsoever about these two products. We'll, I will continue to use them. There is also tablets, which you would take once a day. Gummies as well that you could take once a day. These contain sort of all the things for hair regrowth, like biotin and antioxidants. What do the gummies contain? Biotin, antioxidants and vitamin C and E. The tablets contain different ingredients from the gummy, so actually you may want to use both in conjunction with using the helmet as well. There is also a serum that you would then put along the route. I would say 
And I haven't opened the serum. I haven't opened the tablets or the gummies. I've heard others say these taste delicious, but I don't No, I'm at the moment. I have to say, be careful what I take. The serum, I clearly don't need serum on my, um, on my roots whatsoever. So uh, I don't need that. Shampoo and conditioner, I see no reason why I should not continue to use a thickening biotin hair strengthening shampoo and conditioner because my hair is still in not in a brilliant condition. So I'm loving using those too. But I don't want to mislead you and let you believe that my hair regrowth has been a result of this because, because it's not. Although I, I understand from others that this does really work brilliantly. Well, let's see. What's the countdown? What's the countdown? It is 17 now. So I've been chatting away here for about quite a few minutes. Um, rechargeable battery pack. You can see that's attached to and very easy. you can use this while you're watching television you can use it while you're ironing this is very comfortable i've had this on for a while now as you can see and it's as it's counted down to 17 and i'm feeling no warmth no unpleasantness no tingling there's nothing i'm unaware it's unaware it's there apart from a little bit of weight but let me just show you the inside you hold the on off button as you press hard that's it and detaching from the uh charger now the inside you can see there are the 282 leds and you can see from outside, it's a very attractive looking device. Do remember there is a massive discount at the moment with my code MOVA50FASHIONLIFE and there's a link down in the description box that will take you stri straight there. Generally, I have had short shoulder length hair. During lockdown, I obviously grew it. I enjoyed the journey of long hair for a change. It kind of took me back to my primary school years when I had long hair and I was exploring whether it would work for me, like many of you maybe did that too. And at first, the longer hair did suit me, then it just got too long. So um, I had it cut, but there are videos out there with me long, with long hair and I do get comments on there still where people are looking at those videos now and saying, long hair doesn't suit you. But they don't look at the date and see that it was recorded in 2020 and we couldn't get our hair cut in 2020, could we? So, oh, well, much 2020, anyway. So that's lengthwise. I do feel as we get older, we are more uh, suited to shorter hair, but I also feel that there's a lot of women that do look gorgeous in their longer hair. But I did read somewhere that we need to be going shorter, you know, an inch shorter every so many years. So there's... Uh, and I think that's quite a good formula to follow. You're actually then keeping your hair maybe suited to your face age. I also grew out my blonde highlights during uh, that period in 2020 and sort of quite then enjoyed the freedom of grey hair. And I do get comments now where, why don't you put more colour back in your hair? Why don't you go back blonde and so on? I actually like the freedom of not having to worry about my roots and the expense of having to get it coloured and and so on and having to see that you know go through that uh, retouching up every six weeks also i've been told when i was having my colours done that our skin and our eyes lighten as we get older and so our hair changing is kind of in keeping with our skin tone and um, our eyes as well so if we if we darken our hair too much, where well, we've got a lighter toned skin through age, it looks quite artificial, doesn't it? Some of you said to me, why don't you use a toner? Because it was a bit, you know, I wasn't used to grey hair. I, you know, I didn't know what you were doing with it and so on. So um, it was a little bit yellowing and it's more an ash blonde than grey, really. And I saw may maybe in, sometimes it still does come across that way, more of an ash blonde than grey. Maybe that's why one of the reasons why I don't really mind it too much. So I spoke to my hairdresser and um, told her I had started to use a purple shampoo. And she said, well, actually, that's really the same as a toner. You don't need to pay the extra to have me tone it. You know, you might just use the purple shampoo every two weeks. Now, if you are looking for a purple shampoo, which I would recommend because it's made my hair, it's brought out that the colour of the grey and the vibrancy and taken away the brassy yellow and that more bluer purple tone I think is something I'm enjoying with the clothes that I'm wearing and the makeup as well the one I'm using and that she also recommended to me because she asked me what, what what one I'm using I said Osmo so I'll link that down below for you from Amazon use your own conditioner that you like it, the shampoo does the job for, for, for the graying you know you don't need to get the osmo con graying conditioner as well be very careful with the purple shampoo for gray hair because 
it can stain the clothes, your bathroom, and so on. So I keep my bottle in the shower. And I am not bringing it down here to show you because it will just drip purple everywhere. Um, but it's well worth having. Just keep it in the shower. Only use it when you're naked. You will come away with purple hands, but that, that comes off within, you know, uh, I can't even tell you how many hours. It's probably within an hour of washing my hands and doing bits and pieces and washing my hands again and the purple's gone. Now we come to shape because once the hair is starting to regrow and you've got some more mm, uh, sickness to it and it's in a better condition, you can start styling it. The length still all around hasn't yet been achieved. My hairdressers cut my hair so it's a natural uh, wave underneath is actually showing so it's actually now layered so the bottom wave that's closer to my crown is is visible and it's easier for me to manage because then I'm not fighting a natural curl now I don't know if that curl was there before this this curl might be a result of the regrowth but anyway it's where we are I actually prefer my hair when it's all one length and I don't have the layers it, I find that easier to manage I can get a smoother closer to my face finish which I think suits me better for the moment while it's all growing around in, in its length I am leaving it layered and just making the most of this this sort of curl I've got do you remember to go to Iris Store's website do you remember to follow my link down below in the description box remember that there is a significant discount at the time of recording with code over 50 fashion life easy to remember that isn't it but if you want to know more about wigs and my hair loss journey as I was going through it at the time then you may be interested in this video.